says despite these layoffs, Rochester does have a history of hanging tough. Amy? Maureen, a marketing professor at the University of Rochester's Simon School of Business, as well as an accounting professor at RIT's Saunders College of Business, say one thing is for sure of this community. It is resilient, it will rebound, and it is ready to reinvent. We have a long history of making it, and we'll continue to do it. The Rochester that once was is no longer. Kodak, Xerox, and now Bausch & Lomb do not dominate. The fact that they're not what they were does not mean that we cannot overcome these losses. RIT accounting professor Dan Tassoni at the Saunders College of Business says although the numbers have been slashed, Rochester's spirit has not. He believes this community is a hotbed for successful startups. Startups are risky business. Most of them fail. But we seem to have a core of entrepreneurs here who are very um, skilled at evaluating business opportunities and moving down paths that lead to success. Executive marketing professor George Cook at the University of Rochester Simon School of Business agrees. Cook says the key will be to stop the brain drain here and retain those who can reinvent. And I think we rebound because we're a very entrepreneurial company and a very educational healthcare oriented uh, uh, area. And I, I think we'll rebound okay. Um, but you can't you can't say that when you cut employees and, and, and really reduce the workforce in a, in a company, uh, in a community like this, which is not a huge metropolitan community, that it's not going to have an impact. Both professors believe we will feel the pinch. Top executives, finance, and HR personnel will be among those cut. You might say, golly, what's next? You know, what, what are we going to, how are we going to get impacted economically and job wise next? We don't know that. Both professors say we do know Rochester will somehow rebound. And professors Tassoni and Cook say what happened here in Rochester today is a sign of the times nationwide. We are becoming a country of strong, small and medium sized businesses. Outside of the Fortune 500 companies, the days of many big giants in the U.S. are a thing of the past. Amy Young, News 8. Rochester.